Do you often find yourself surrounded by negative emotions and thoughts that keep weighing you down? Do you spend time thinking you would be able to live a far better life if only these negative emotions didn't exist? Well, what if you could actually turn these heavy low vibrations into high vibrations that can uplift you and attract more and more positivity into your life? Today, we're embarking on this profound journey of shifting our energy by getting rid of limiting negative vibrations and turn in. G them into high vibrations so we can live a life of purpose, happiness, and fulfillment. So if you want to unlock your maximum potential and live your best life, keep watching before we can talk about how we can turn our low vibrations into higher ones to unlock our best life. It is first important that we understand what exactly these vibrations are and how they affect our daily life and our spiritual journey. And to understand vibrations, let us begin with the words of the engineer Nikola Tesla. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy frequency and vibrations indeed at a fundamental level. Everything in the universe, from the smallest of particles to the tallest of buildings, is made up of energy. This is not philosophy or spirituality, this is physics. It's a fact, in fact, quantum physics has actually revealed and confirmed that all the matter in the universe, including our bodies, our thoughts, and our emotions, are all made up of a vibrating energy field. This necessarily means we are all energy, and this energy is always vibrating, and these vibrations can be measured in terms of frequencies that means our different thoughts and emotions have a different frequency associated with them. If we look at this concept from a spiritual point of view, vibrations are not a mere physical phenomena. In fact, these vibrations transcend the physical world and also hold profound significance in the physical world. That is because these vibrations represent the quality of our energy of both our inner world and our outer world. In the words of Dr. Richard Gerber, your vibration is a reflection of your state of being, indeed, our vibrations. Define. E our whole existence and our journey, high vibrations are often linked with unique states of consciousness that bring us closer to the divine and our, our true self, while lower vibrations often stray us away from our true purpose and spiritual growth. That is why in our spiritual journey, it is crucial that we protect our energy from lower vibrations and turn them to higher vibrations. And the first step towards doing that is by actively identifying if the vibrations around you and within you are low or high. So let us explore how we can be able to identify. Between the two, first let us talk about how we can identify low vibrations in the words of Anadia Judith. Low vibrational states often manifest as physical and emotional exhaustion, chronic stress, and a pervasive sense of dissatisfaction. Indeed, these low vibrations are often marked by distrue eye feelings and thoughts that always seem like they are draining your energy and creating a sense of disconnection from the divine. They make you feel exhausted mentally, physically, and also spiritually. And these low vibrations can stem from different roots, which include, as both from within us and from around us most commonly low. Vibrations are linked to negative emotions like fear, sadness, anger, or jealousy. All of these negative emotions can consume your mind and hinder your personal and spiritual growth other than your emotions. Sometimes you don't even know this, but you start to embody beliefs that lower your vibrations. These include your limiting beliefs that include feeling unworthy, helpless, or always focusing on what you lack rather than what you are blessed with. These limiting beliefs also stray you further away, Fro. Am achieving your personal and spiritual goals other than your emotions and beliefs. Sometimes unhealthy habits can also be a major source of low vibrations as they harm your physical, mental, or emotional well-being. These habits may include an unhealthy diet, not getting enough sleep drinking, or getting involved in drugs, but these low vibrations are not always rooted within yourself. Sometimes you may even become victim to low vibrations because of the environment you're in. Most commonly toxic relationships can become a source of low vibrations as the int. Interactions with these toxic individuals often leave us feeling stressed and exhausted, thus draining our energy significantly. 
On the other hand, high vibrations are often associated with states that uplift your, your energy and make you feel more energized and motivated in the words of the author Gabriel Bernstein. The higher your vibration, the more you are aligned with your true self and the universe's abundant flow. Indeed, higher vibrations make us feel connected with the divine and with our true self, thus helping us attain a sense of clarity and in. Or peace in our existence, these high vibrations are often linked to positive emotions like love, joy, peace, and gratitude. These positive emotions can help you achieve a sense of harmony in your existence and feel connected with the universe and the divine energies within it. Other than your emotions, your beliefs have a strong effect on your vibrations as well. And empowering beliefs are often associated with high vibrations. These empowering beliefs include seeing your potential and high self-worth and focusing on abundance rather than lack as you focus on your potential and your blessings. They motivate you to achieve any of your personal or spiritual goals as you believe you can do it. Your habits also have a huge impact in elevating your vibrations, and by adopting healthy habits, you can enhance your physical, mental, and emotional health like a healthy diet, diet journaling, or getting enough sleep at night last. But definitely not the least. The environment and the company you're in also has a significant impact on elevating your vibrations, and nourishing relationships are often associated with higher vibrations as interacting with these people can inspire you and make you feel supported. Thus nourishing your soul and your existence, as you start to vibrate with a higher frequency, your life gets filled with positive emotions and beliefs and healthy habits, which have significant benefits in your spiritual journey firstly, and most importantly, high vibrations enhance your overall well-being, as we vibrate at a higher frequency. We start to embody better health, which encompasses all aspects of our life, from our physical health, to our emotional he elch and also our mental health when you achieve a state of high vibrations your body is functioning at its optimal state which means your mind is fully clear your emotions are balanced and your physical health is also in its ideal state this improves your overall well-being significantly thus bringing you a life full of inner peace and growth other than improving your whole well-being these, these vibrations also play a huge part in improving all your relationships. When you start to vibrate at higher frequencies, you start to attract relationships that all so reflect and support your enhanced state of being this means you become a magnet for nourishing relationships, which means your relationships become a source of mutual respect, love, understanding, and support. Last but definitely not the least, high vibrations align you with the flow of energy of the universe, which improves your ability to manifest your deepest desires in the words of the spiritual teacher Gabriel Bernstein. Raising your vibration will make you a magnet for miracles. Indeed, when your vibrations are elevated, you start to achieve goals and D, E sires that you didn't think you could ever achieve, that is, because higher vibrations make you become more in tune with your true purpose, because of which you can attract opportunities and experiences that align with your best self and your deepest desires. As you raise your vibrations, you can manifest anything you want. Live your best life and achieve all your spiritual and personal goals. Now that we recognize the profound benefits that high vibrations have in our personal and spirit-spiritual journey, let us explore how to turn our low vibrations into high. Her ones and unlock our maximum potential in our journey of turning low vibrations into higher vibrations. The first step is to cultivate a sense of awareness of our current state. This means you have to recognize and embrace your current state, so you know any shortcomings that you have to work on and improve as you work towards cultivating awareness. Practicing mindfulness and journaling can be two powerful tools that significantly help you in this journey. Mindfulness involves embracing and living each present moment with a sense of openness and curiosity. Without any judgment, as you focus on each moment, you also become more aware of your own thoughts emotions and sensations in the moment. This makes you observe and understand the depths of your soul through which you can not only appreciate your strengths but also identify any areas that require attention 
and healing, thus pushing you on the path of spiritual transformation and growth. Just like mindfulness, journaling is also a very helpful practice on the path of cultivating awareness. Journaling involves writing down your thoughts and your feelings in a D, diary or journal on a regular basis. This could be a daily activity or a weekly activity, but writing down your thoughts and feelings can help provide significant insights about yourself, which can reveal any areas or patterns within you that are keeping you in a low vibrational state as you write your experiences down and explore your inner self. You can reflect on any recurring patterns within you that have been holding you back so you can get rid of them and make space for more productive patterns moving on. Another one of the most powerful tools that K and help you raise your vibrations from low to high is the practice of gratitude in the words of Abraham. Hicks, gratitude is one of the highest vibrations that you can be in. Indeed, when you practice gratitude, you start to shift your focus from what you lack to what you're actually blessed with. As your focus shifts from lack to blessings, you start to cultivate a sense of positivity within you and get rid of the negative feelings that come with focusing on lack to cultivate a sense of gratitude within yourself. You should regularly practice acknowledging the, or the things you are grateful for, even if they are small, blessings that make you feel thankful in the moment. In fact, a great way is to make a list of three things you are grateful for on a daily basis. You can make this list in a gratitude journal or simply write them down on your phone and make it a daily habit. This simple habit can have a profound impact on your overall vibrations, as looking back at the lists can make you realize how there are so many blessings in your life other than being grateful for your blessings to cultivate gratitude in your e. Existence, it is also a good practice to actively take the time and express gratitude to the people around you. This could be through a written note or simply by saying it verbally, but it makes you recognize and appreciate the positive contributions that other people have on your existence. Acknowledging the positive contributions raises your vibration and even raises the vibrations of the others that are being appreciated more. Our thoughts have a huge influence on the frequency that we vibrate. At that means negative thinking can make your vibrations low. Are but positive thinking can have a profound impact in elevating your vibrations. That is why, in this journey of turning our lower vibrations to higher ones, it is important that we embrace positive thinking in the words of Wayne. Die change the way you look at things, things, and the things you look at change indeed. When we consciously choose to focus on positive thoughts, we can elevate our vibration and unlock a higher state of consciousness to embrace positive thinking. One of the most powerful tools are positive affirmations. These are powerful statements, TS, that can encourage you and help you unlock your deepest desires and newer, higher states of being. We don't realize this, but often we wrap ourselves up in negative beliefs about ourselves, which ends up limiting our potential. That is why it is so important to repeat affirmations regularly like, I am worthy, I can achieve my goals, or I am loved. These affirmations could be said out loud or written down, but either way they're extremely significant, as they can reprogram your subconscious mind and help you embrace a positive outlook on yourself and do your life even with affirmations, sometimes negative. Thoughts can arise. It's only human nature. Don't beat yourself up for having negative thoughts, but in fact, practice reframing these negative thoughts into positive ones. For instance, if you face a minor setback and think I can't do this actively, shift these negative thoughts to a more positive one. Like I am capable of overcoming challenges and I will overcome this one as well. By reframing your negative thoughts, you can maintain a positive mindset even in times of adversity. Moreover, engaging in act, activities that bring you joy, peace, and a sense of fulfillment can also significantly elevate your vibrations. The best activities that can help you find peace and joy are the activities that let you express your creativity. This could be through ART, music, dance, or writing. But whichever way you choose when you express your creativity, it allows you to tap into your inner wisdom and joy and share it with the world. This gives you a sense of achievement, which in turn helps you raise your vibrations. In fact, if done right. Your creative expression can also elevate T. He vibrations of others who engage with your work.
While we're on the topic of activities that help bring us joy and peace, another great activity is spending time in nature when you spend time in nature and engage with the natural world through hiking. Gardening or simply by walking barefoot on grass, it can help ground you and uplift your energy. That is because these activities help you reconnect with the earth and its natural high vibrations, thus helping helping you resonate your own vibrations with the earth's and making your own vibrations high, which is well another powerful activity that can help you achieve. A sense of peace and raise your vibrations is the practice of meditation in your journey of elevating your vibrations. Meditation acts as a powerful tool as it is a significant spiritual practice that can help you connect with your inner self and the divine energy within, in you, and around you. Meditation involves quieting down your mind and sitting in a silent place where you can deeply connect with yourself without any distractions. This can help calm down your mind, reduce stress, and overall eleva to your vibrational frequency. And by practicing meditation daily, you can ensure that your high vibrational state is maintained. Performing acts of kindness to the people around you can also be useful as they not only bring you peace and joy, but also creates a positive ripple effect on the people around you. When you help others around you, you find your own sense of purpose and fulfillment, which raises your vibrations, and in a similar way, you leave a positive impact on the people around you, thus helping them raise their vibrations as well thus creating a wave of positive change in the world. The fact that you can create an effect on other people's vibrations is a clear sign that other people can also have an impact on your vibrations. That's why in this journey of turning your vibrations high, it is crucial that you surround yourself with people of high vibrations, in the words of Dr. Joe Dispenser. The energy of the people you spend time with has a direct impact on your own vibration. Choose wisely. Indeed, the people you spend time with can significantly impact your vibrational states. So it is crucial that you seek out individuals that embody high vibrations and inspire you to be your best self to do this. It's important that you join communities or groups that align with your spiritual values and beliefs. This gives you a place to engage with like-minded individuals which can create a high vibration environment around you and also within you. Even other than these communities, it is crucial that you foster relationships with people who can uplift support and encourage you, thus providing a strong foundation for maintaining a high vibrational state in yo. your life. Even if you end up stuck in a toxic environment, it is important that you actively practice detachment and build healthy bow boundaries so the toxic environment doesn't have an adverse effect on your vibrational state. We often don't realize this, but sometimes our unresolved emotional wounds and traumas can become a major factor as they keep us stuck in a state of low vibrations. These wounds could be recent, or sometimes they might even go all the way back to your childhood traumas that are still leaving their impact on you. The these negative feely, NGS if left unresolved, can keep making you feel drained or low without even realizing why. That's why in your journey of elevating your low vibrations, it is crucial that you heal these wounds and finally let them go. The best way to heal your unresolved wounds is by therapy or counseling when you seek professional help to help you heal. It can provide you the support and guidance that you need to heal. And as you heal from your past traumas, you can release any negative emotional patterns and make space for positive patterns and thoughts, thus helping you in your journey of raising your vibrational state. Another great method that can help you heal your unresolved traumas is the use of energy healing practices. Some of the best energy healing practices that you can incorporate in your routine are Reiki, acupuncture, or chakra balancing. These practices can help you get rid of any energy blockages within you and restore the natural flow of high vibrations within you as it gets rid of energy blockages. It also gets rid of any unresolved emotions or experiences that are causing those blockages, thus making G space for more positive energies to flow within you and helping you maintain an overall high vibrational state. Just like your mental and emotional health, it is also crucial to maintain a positive physical health in your journey of raising your vibrations. That's why in this journey, 
Another important point is the nourishment of your physical body as it can help support a high vibrational state within you to nourish your body. The most important step is to ensure your diet is balanced and healthy, as everything in this universe is a form of energy that vibrates at its specific frequency. The same is the case with the food you eat unhealthy and fatty foods have a lower vibration associated with them. While healthy foods like fresh fruits and vegetables, organic foods, and water have higher vibrations associated with them. That's why it is crucial that you maintain a diet that is rich in organic foods and provides you the nutrients you need while avoiding overly processed foods and excessive sugar. By maintaining a balanced diet, you can maintain a high vibrational state without the negative impact of any unheal. Thy foods also to nourish your body, it is important that you make regular physical activities a habit. Physical activities like exercise, dance, or yoga improve your mood and your overall energy level. These movements of your body are essential for maintaining high vibrations, but with physical activities, it is also important that you keep adequate time for sleep and rest. Getting an adequate amount of rest is crucial for restoring your body's energy and maintaining a high vibrational state. So make sure you prioritize your rest and your body's needs instead of overworking yourself last but very definitely not. The least to achieve and maintain a high vibrational state. It is crucial that you connect with your higher self. Your higher self refers to the divine essence and true purpose within you. And connecting with this divine energy within you is crucial for maintaining high vibrations to connect with your higher self. You can engage in spiritual practices that resonate with your beliefs like prayer chanting or rituals. These practices can help you align with the energy and higher vibrations within you, the us helping you connect with the divine energies of the universe also as you connect with your higher self. It is also important that you listen to your intuition or your inner guidance. The divine essence within you is always providing your guidance and insights that can help guide you towards your best life. So make sure you listen to it as it can bring clarity and direction in your spiritual journey while helping you maintain your vibrations. In conclusion, when you transform your low vibrations into higher ones, you achieve a newfound sense of self dis Covery healing and personal and spiritual growth by activities like cultivating awareness, practicing gratitude, embracing positive thinking, engaging in activities that bring joy, surrounding ourselves with high vibration, people, healing emotional wounds, nourishing our bodies and connecting with our higher self, we can achieve and maintain a high vibrational state. As we raise our vibrations, we don't only enhance our own life, but also create a, a ripple effect of positivity in the world around us. So take this video as a sign and embark on this journey of elevating your vibrations and unlocking your best life. May we all find the strength and patience to fight off low vibrations and make space for higher ones.